Okay guys, let's see what we got going on in here today. There's our whole fence line. It used to be here at the house. You can see our corners back over there by that cabbage palm. We're going to extend this yard from there out to there. And Bob's getting the last of the staples out of this fence. You see we've taken this other one down. And we're fixing to pull this wire and put it on the side run over there. Oh my goodness. So anyway, been busy today. So we've got, I'm saying a couple hours we'll have it closed in. There's our load of hay. We went and picked up 50 bales a couple days ago. The weather's cooling off a little bit, so we wanted to go ahead and have some hay on hand. We'll put them about four bales out every other day. Now here's a little piece of fence we got to still take out. I'm gonna try to ease you down through there. But anyway, we've just taken this fence. This is where it stopped. And we've just run it right on down. And we went ahead and encompassed, encompassed this into yard as well. And you can see our other fence posts we've got set. We've got one short run. They're putting in two six by six posts now for corner braces for a gate that's gonna go in down there. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's where we stopped. And then again, we're gonna run right down through here. We got one post that's higher, but boy, what a root by that pine tree. So I told them we just saw that post off. Anyway, this is what we're doing. We're extending this out encompassing this in the yard as well. And the reason being is our greenhouse is gonna sit right up here. And Mark standing up on it right there, but where that white truck's sitting, uh, you guys can see those posts. There's a couple, there's a couple. The greenhouse, I thought it was 16 foot wide, it's 18 feet wide. 60 feet long, so we're going to set it right there in that open area between these trees <clears throat> where we'll have plenty of sun. And the two stakes that are toward the middle, there and there, that's the pad for the greenhouse. And then we're just going to slope it down from the one post to the outside post. And then we'll get some sod and we'll just go around it to keep that dirt from washing away. There's where Dale is, and we've got one six by six set now. We've got one more to set, and then to uh, brace and tie wire to, and then that'll be our little gate go out to the shed or the barn right over there. And Corey, we're not going to hang that. No. No, we're going to pull wire all the way across there. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And Red and them are finishing up that right there. And we probably will not hang our gates today. We're not going to have time. So anyway, what we're going to do is just pull the wire straight across that gap where that gate sits. And then we'll cut it the first of the week and hang our gate. And then we're going to put another gate where that gate's standing there. We're going to take it and take it off those posts. Take it to the post right behind that black truck and it'll run back and forth this way. and Close that gap in there. Then we'll just drive in there and we need to get in the yard. So anyway, that's what we're doing. I'm standing right in the middle of the greenhouse pad right now. And we're just finishing this stuff up and we've got six or eight more four by four posts set in there, 10 maybe. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull that next strand of wire. We'll go ahead and nail it down, get it tight. And then all we're gonna do on the front is we'll nail it over there by the truck We'll leave the gate out for right now, and then we'll just pull it to this corner here, and we'll just hang it on a nail. We won't nail this off, then that way all we've got to do is open that whole wire up, that gap there, and then Mark Hall, when he brings our dirt in for this pad, he can just be backing his truck in here and dumping it, and then he take his bobcat and work, and we won't have that fence right on him right there on, on coming into the uh, where the greenhouse is going to sit. So anyway, guys, that's what we're doing and they're facing the layout. We put these four by fours eight foot apart, but you can't do it, Dale. You still gotta set your other post. Brace post? Yep. On right here? Yep, then you gotta pull that out. 
Okay, we're yeah, going to let you go, and uh, we'll go from there. And we'll be talking to you guys later. I appreciate y'all watching. And, uh, hey, there's Corey. There's, there's a single young man again. I ain't had no calls from no girls. Corey, you got a plea? Send their numbers? Oh, no. You don't want them to send their numbers? I mean, they can if they want. Okay, okay. Thanks well, if y'all think Corey looks pretty good, just uh, send us an email, and I'll shoot you how to get in touch with him. All right, y'all take care, and God bless y'all.